Welcome gamers, Stone Monk here to announce the official release of Renown or Ruin. It is available for download. Um, I was able to get this out a couple of weeks ago, but life had gotten in the way. I have not been able to uh, put up a video and let you know about it. Uh, and so uh, that's definitely on me. But I know there's a few of you that have been super excited about uh, this coming out. Uh, the response on Twitter and Facebook has been fantastic. Um, I have a conversation going on over at uh, tga.community uh, in the narrative and open play section about Renown and Ruin and getting feedback from some of the, the narrative community there. Uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what you guys think. Uh, I'm going to provide uh, the link down in the show notes. Uh, it, it's, uh, I think maybe, well, let's see how many pages is this. Um, It's not a long, it's uh, about nine page PDF. Um, and uh, I'll show you some more of the, the cover art. Um, and uh, so you can see some, some art here on this splash page here, and this comes from the document. Uh, and so uh, here's the, the front page, and here is the, the cover art. I'd shown you a little bit of this in a previous video. Uh, and this is currently the quote unquote final piece. Um, these characters here are uh, representing the heroes that, that my players are running, that, uh, that, that Davey and Paul and um, Aaron are running. And then these kind of sketchy uh, characters in the back are just kind of this idea that the hero is most important, but they're backed up by a lot and that the city itself plays a role. Now, um, as I've kind of talked through a little bit these, and I'll go in de more depth with each of these pages uh, in a little while and, and soon, uh, but the first page just starts about how do you get started? What do you need uh, to play your first game? I don't want this to be daunting. I don't want this to be hard. So I just kind of take a walk through it. Um, second page is about uh, kind of what rules I put on top or kind of the concepts that I layer on top of the skirmish uh, rule set. Um, so things, some of those things like Warband are, are going to be familiar. Uh, but this idea of, of losing renown is going to be different. The using places of respite to rest and recuperate uh, to, to use your renown. And then um, uh, I just talk about kind of ways of creating uh, or gaining uh, renown that you won't get from the, the stock skirmish set. So there's certainly battle plan objectives. Uh, there's going to be there's uh, treasure uh, that you need to connect, co collect, relics. Uh, there's quests and then other narrative objectives that you as the realm master can can provide. Um, the fourth page is kind of the cheat sheet, the quick lookup of what it means to gain renown, uh, what it means to uh, find relics, um, what it means to find places of respite, uh, how to integrate or, or just weave in some role play into your war game, which what your players may be used to just being a war game setting uh, between two players. Um, and uh, then uh, what I get into after that is I put three kind of uh, narrative pieces in here. So um, two of them are battle plans and one of them is a place of respite, a sample. So the Dusk Plains, this is a kind of a Trail of Fears campaign setting. This is set in Shadespire. Um, and uh, this very first one is the Dusk Plains. Uh, uh, the, there's a kind of a, a setup with the, kind of a one column, which was pretty cool to be able to see that you could fit kind of a, a battle plan into one column. And then on the right hand side is a time of war, uh, what this use of this bone storm. Uh, so this would be a great, this is a great one for just getting your group together and say, Hey, we're going to run this, uh, battle plan. I'm going to set this up for you. You're going to bring a war band. It's going to hit the, you know, these standards, whatever your standards for starting off, you know, if it's 25 or 30 renown. Um, that your hero is starting off with and able to gather that kind of uh, following. Um, and we're going to play through this and see what you guys think. And this battle plan does a great job, and I'll, I'll talk about it more in depth uh, down the road, um, of kind of giving you a setup for your players to successfully collaborate um, so that these war bands can kind of start to, to mesh and, uh, and that sort of thing. So uh, the second uh, spot is the Grim Exchange. There's not a photo for this one. I was like, you know what, I want to I wanna put this out because I want people to kind of get a sense of what a place of respite page could look like. These places of respite are kind of like their own characters. They're certainly important places, and so they might have uh, some write-up on what they are. 
as would any of these other, any other locations in your game would have some sort of write-up. But in this case, you can see it has kind of a crowded attribute. It's got um, a rogue attribute. It's got a recruitment attribute using it as a base camp. And then it's got some different NPC warbands that exist in this place that you, the party might encounter. Um, and then up here on the right, there's uh, NPC Axos the Assessor, um, uh, kind of a fun uh, NPC that they can uh, help, have them help identify a relic um, or identify what they've found. And then uh, I added this idea of rumor engine, um, you know, that obviously it's a joke from the Warhammer community uh, website, but also uh, just this idea that there's some quests that they could find here if they're asking around. Um, and I've got a, a couple more that uh, I had a couple more on here that I um, were just kind of unique to my campaign, uh, but these would be ones that could be used by anybody. Um, and then uh, one of those you can see the Master Relic Hunter um, rumor uh, leads to this battle plan, which is the Master Relic Hunter, where you go uh, find a Relic Hunter, but are uh, before you get a chance to engage, um, the party is ambushed and have to uh, protect. Um, um, this group of people that, because they don't know which one is the Relic Hunter. So it's just an interesting little uh, gamble, a little little battle plan to put together. Um, and we had a lot of fun playing uh, this particular battle plan. Um, then uh, lastly, uh, the last couple pages are the Warband Journal. So here is the journal that your players can keep. And then uh, the last page is an example of that um, journal. Uh, so this is the story of Ickety Ickety, uh, a little uh, uh, grot um, shaman on a uh, wolf. So uh, yeah, you can read through that and get a sense of kind of how this, this sheet works. Um, so this is uh, everything that's uh, in the first release of Renown or Ruin. Um, I tried to keep it simple. I tried to keep it light um, with enough content so that you didn't feel like uh, you were starting from scratch and you know had to come up with everything on yourself. Um, eventually, so uh, coming next or things that I'm working on is some more videos, kind of talking through creating your own battle plans, etc. Um, things that I'm I'm learning and thinking about as my players are running through it. So that I mean that's the biggest things are creating these battle plans, these encounters, um, and then I'm working on. Uh, kind of starting some expansions of the expansion, some add-ons. So it would eventually just be kind of adding on a couple of pages. The next one I think I'm going to be working on is uh, how to include maps. And you can you know that if you if you do look at this, you can see there will be a couple of references to kind of maps and geography, uh, but no map <laughs> included here. So I want to expand on that with the idea of how could you use maps in your campaign to get a sense of space or um, you know, uh, territory or et cetera, um, well, more space and kind of travel and distance and risk. But then, uh, I also want to do an expansion on politics. Um, you saw that in, in the Grim Exchange, there were, um, a number of, uh, factions, war bands. Um, so what does that mean? What's, and so this one, uh, the other expansion would be on politics. Uh, and maybe it's about motivations for these war bands. Maybe it's about what happens, what their reaction is when you are um, faced with them or confront them or when your uh, renown starts encroaching on their renown, etc. So, um, yeah, and I have a number of different influences that are kind of uh, coming together, coalescing into that and that I'm looking forward to share. So um, if you uh, haven't already uh, in the course of this uh, video, gone and download, click the link down in the description. Uh, please go do that. Please review it. Uh, take a read through. Gather up some people and go and play this. And then come back to me with your thoughts, uh, any uh, things that you would like to see, anything you'd, you'd, you'd have more questions on, any of that stuff. Come engage with me. You can do that here down in the comments You can, or any of the, the Renown or Ruin videos. You can come over to tga.community um, uh, forum and I'll, I'll set a link there to where you can engage with me over there um, or even on Facebook in the skirmish um, uh, group I'm thinking about starting a renown or ruined Facebook page uh, but you guys tell me what you think where's the best place for us to have this conversation and you can always email me um, stonemontgamer at gmail.com thanks again for your patience 
Uh, like this video if you're excited about the release of Renown or Ruin. Uh, subscribe to this page, uh, sorry, this channel, if you want to see more of the Renown and Ruin stuff that I have in store. Um, and uh, comment below. Share it with your friends. Tell more people about it. Gather your party and get a game of Renown or Ruin started. Uh, it's really easy to, to get started and fun to play. Um, and your players will be coming back for more. I guarantee it. Uh, thanks again, and we'll talk to you soon.